uh, that's not to say anything that's wrong with what they're doing, but you're bringing some some new view to what should be, shall we say, offered to the practicing physician to perhaps alter the utilization of certain materials and to create a different environment. Is that your is that your task? Well, we all have to evolve. If we don't evolve with the fast pace of technology and advances and research, right. we're going to be practicing dinosaur dentistry. And I've been trained originally in Brazil in the early 90s. So I've seen the evolution of dentistry from, you know, even mixing the amalgam and mercury fillings with our own hands or using triturators and absorbing it through our skin from evolving to a nanoparticles of ceramic incorporated in white filling, composite and bonding, seven generation bonding. So yes, in the office, we're very grateful. I mean, every time there's a great product, I get it for the office. We use uh, high tech technology. We design our porcelain crowns. There's some studies that show that crowns outsource to other countries were coming back contaminated with lead. That's when we decided to eliminate the use or minimize the use of metals or, or, or even outsourcing to, to, to labs. So we make the investment to get the CEREC machine. We scan our patient's teeth. We design in, in the computer our patient's anatomy and crown for their crowns. And we print it in a 3D printer. So the whole process can be done in about two hours, which saves patients, is convenient, and is more biocompatible as well. And the whole process is controlled by me. Megan. Uh, so now that you're influenced by the, the, this uh, magnificent intellect that we have relative to uh, and an advocate for uh, the, uh, I guess you could say, the biologic dentistry, clean dentistry, I'll call it clean dentistry. Okay. Uh, although I think all <clears throat> dental practitioners are trying desperately to have proper, you know, uh, uh, antiseptic and non-sepsis environment. Mm -hmm. But uh, in working in a, in, a, in a venue such as this, and I hear there are multi-practices that are affiliated with your, with your dental practice, is that true? No, no, I have only my office. Uh, it's located in East Florida. I right. just work in one, one single place, and you, one you don't, location. You don't have, so if you, need a, if you need an endodontist, where do you go, where do they go, or do you do it? No, I have the specialists that come to my office. They but work under my supervision. All, all the specialists and endodontists and, mm -hmm, and periodontists, periodontists etc. Mm -hmm. They come in to do their work. Yes. Okay. So now you have to work with the people that come in there. It may not always be the same person. It usually is. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any problem dealing with what their theories are? They they're not as into the holistic approach as us, but they try to understand it and you know, use what they can from it since they're working in our environment. Dr. Dixon, let me ask you very quickly, this we're down to the last four minutes of this show. Uh, you said that you, uh, you offered uh, nutritional uh, advice. Uh, where does the nutritional advice come from? From yourself or does it come from in a... a well, I'm not trying to play a nutritionist, or, but I, I want to know what the type of nutrition my patients usually have because you're going to see that if they have a very processed fast diet they're going to tend to have very processed teeth when i'm talking about nutrition i'm trying to guide them into a more plant-based diet where they will be exposing their body to most uh, 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 oxidation stress so I want to say thank you to Megan Murs. Thank you for having me. And you me. keep on doing what you do and yes. listen to the boss. Of course, <laughs> every day. And uh, Yanni Dixon, DMD, biological dentist. You are a tremendous advocate and you're a believer. And I always say the advocates are the blessed people on earth. So thank I you. wish you well. Uh, keep on going. And... Uh, uh, you want to uh, try, I don't know what your relationship is now with Nova Southeastern University, but you really ought to. Our, med, our dental school is is in the same lane that you're in. So I think mm -hmm. you need to uh, need to uh, communicate with Absolutely. the leadership there. And thank you very much for being here. Uh, where is your office? 
I'm on Davy Boulevard in downtown Fort Lauderdale. What's the address? Uh, 212 Southeast 12th Street in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33316. Okay, good. So people can call you if they wish. And uh, folks, uh, you've heard a lot of interesting things today. Uh, you wanted to know about uh, dental hygiene and uh, you want to know about dentists, uh, just general dentistry. You got a lot more than just general dentistry today. And uh, I hope that uh, it opens up your mind to, uh, to some of the things that Dr. Dixon said. And I wish you uh, well. I, I always tell you that I want you to take good care of yourself. In this case, you got to see your dentist at least twice a year, that I can tell you. <laughs> Uh, and uh, whether you see Dr. Dixon or you see other dentists, you've you got to see your dentist. And if you have any questions of the dentist, ask them. Uh, they'll, they'll let you know what they know and what they don't know. How about that? Uh, I uh, want you to uh, use this email address and telephone number if you have any questions or you have any thoughts about other programs, please give us a call. Remember, I always tell you, take good care of yourself. In this case, take good care of your dental uh, structure. It's not just mechanical. It's, it's part of, like Dr. said, part of the intestinal system. So you gotta take good care of it. And uh, remember, this show comes to you from Nova Southeastern University. My name is Fred Lip, and until next time, see you.